The title of this screencast is Getting Things Started with PTC MathCAD Express Prime. MathCAD Express is a free downloadable engineering worksheet. It really has three advantages over many other mathematical programs. The first is it looks like how you would solve the problem by hand and therefore self-documenting. With, with MathCAD, when you get done, it'll look just like you would have written it out. The second feature is it handles units very well. Third is typing equations into MathCAD is very fast once you get used to it. MathCAD also has some things that you will have to get used to, um, such as the order matters and the many different kinds of equal signs that there are. I'm going to demonstrate MathCAD by solving a fairly simple uh, chemical engineering type problem, one you might see in the first year or two of your studies. It's a liquid flowing down a pipe, and it's the viscosity and the specific gravity are given with a molecular weight. The dimensions of the pipe is 2 inches, and it's flowing at 50 liters per minute. And then it wants to know what's the velocity of the fluid in different units, uh, a dimensionless number called the Reynolds number, which is defined here, and the molar flow rate in pound moles per second. So I'm going to just take this problem statement, and I'm going to copy it over to in MathCAD, the first type of equal sign that I'm going to be demonstrating is the assignment equals ID. I'm just going to take it from the problem statement. I'm going to use the colon, and when I put in the colon, it will put in colon equals, and that's an assignment. That's the one that you will use most often for assigning uh, different variables. So we're going to say it's equal to 2, and then I'm going to say times, and then inch. Um, and this, it turns blue, so uh, recognize IN as the unit inches. And I will do symbol for grams is GM, and when we want the uh, divisions sign, we can just put divide and mole. Uh, the viscosity, if you take M and control G, you get the mu symbol, and that's going to be 0 0.1 times and CP. And when I hit enter, you'll notice that this turns red. It doesn't know what CP or centipoise is. But we can define a unit, and I'll do that right up here, CP. I'll assign that is 0 0.01 times poise. Okay, now it still didn't turn blue. I don't know if I define it up here as a unit, it should, should know that that's a unit now. I know I'm going to need the cross-sectional area of the pipe to get the velocity, so I'm going to just define A, C, S, and colon again. And now I'm going to put uh, P, control G, and that's going to be the symbol for pi times ID. I'll hit the space bar divide 4. Notice I forgot my squared, so I'll go up here, correct that right now, and it's just the up hat, and 2. A, C, S, and just hit the normal equal sign. When you hit the equal sign, that's telling MathCAD you want a number. Now, one thing it didn't do is give me enough uh, significant figures, so I'm going to go up here in math formatting and just increase that a little bit. Default to SI units, unless you change the default, um, but if I want this, say, in uh, inches squared, it'll compute that too, and where the velocity is just going to be equal to v dot divided by ACS, and again, there's this two feet per second. Velocity here, I will put in is, and now we call this RE, assign that to ID time. See, turns row red, or puts a red, that means it's that's an undefined variable. I have not defined row yet. We'll define row ref, so R control G ref as 1 times gram per centimeter cubed. Then we can just say that rho, again R control G, the specific gravity, times rho ref, R control G ref. Just put it in, shade it a bit. And the last one is m dot, it's an intermediate value is just equal to the volumetric flow rate, B dot, times rho, and M dot, then, equals, okay, let's do that, and we can go here and say that the molar flow rate, M dot, is just is equal to M dot, divided by molar rate, in dot equals gives us in moles per second. If we tried to do pound moles per second, it would turn red because it doesn't know what a pound mole is. But if we just define it, and I'm going to use a different kind of equal sign here. This is a, a priority assignment. So I'm going to say LB mole, and I'm going to use the, if I look at math and operations, you'll see it's down here. 
let me call it a global definition now, 454 thereabouts times mole. And I can assign that as a unit. And then when I say in dot equals, I can change this one to that'll be mole. Yeah, I'll give myself a couple more decimal places here and shade it a little bit because that was uh, what we were looking for. Call that C. Even though this one is defined below it, you notice it didn't turn red like it normally would because this global assignment, it will read those first before. Anyway, that is getting started with Matthew Express.